Hello YouTube, Statue Hunter 75 here with Statue Hunters Bags and Boards episode 90. Got a little bit of a recap or remnants from uh, earlier this week. New Comic Book Wednesday on October 2nd was uh, Wednesday this week, this past week. So I was able to finally get out, have quite a few books um, on hold at uh, Paper Asylum in Cabot Street in Beverly. And went, finally went to go see Anthony and picked up some, some issues of uh, some books that I had there. So, <clears throat> this is what I picked up. Also, at the end, we'll have a little bonus CGC roll call. Um, mail call, I mean. So, first, uh, first book I picked up was Gears of War Hive Busters issue number two. Just a huge Gears of War fan. Um, anytime there's a Gears of War comic book, I try to pick it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dark Ark After the Flood, number one. It's an Aftershock comic, number one. So anytime there's an independent number one comic, try and pick it up. Uh, always pick up my political comics. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not making fun of Trump because I'm a fan of Trump, but I buy all these political comics, even the, uh, you know, the AOC ones and j just whatever political comic. I usually pick it up just in case if it's... Um, I don't know, controversial or anything, you never know. Uh, picked up Once in Future number one. I think this was like the fourth printing of the number one issue. It's a great story. Dark Age, such a cool cover right here. It looks like the Lincoln Memorial with the head cut off. The Dark Age number one, number two. That's awesome. I'm a fan of this book so far. I uh, picked up, just love the Greg Land um, art. You see it's done by Land. And it's Rogue. We get the Savage Rogue. And all the different many faces generations of Rogue. The Jim Lee Rogue. And all the different Rogues. So picked up this one to go with the Gambit one that I already have. Um, I think this was the J.J. Abrams and his son. Uh, Spider-Man like limited edition cover. Of uh, Spider-Man number one or whatever it is. And picked up Steeple number one. Just another independent number one. Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Zombie Tramp, it's a cartoon. <laughs> uh, that's uh, issue number 64. And Vampirella number three, the J. Scott Campbell cover. Picked that up. Picked up Ghost Rider because it's a black cover and I just thought it was really cool and all black cover. So I picked the nicest copy I could possibly find. It's always hard to get like a 9-8 in black covers. Um, Vampire State Building number one. Uh, this is about all the vampires in the Empire State Building. And then I bought the uh, Infinity Gauntlet homage cover as well. Just happy to pick that up. And then I also picked up from Anthony, I guess this is the Glow in the Dark variant, but I gotta say, I mean, it's cover E, but it doesn't glow in the dark at all. I mean, I had this thing charging in the sun. I took it in a pitch dark room and it did nothing. Now this is the foil variant right here. I even checked to see if this glow glowed in the dark. Maybe I got it mixed up, but nope, nothing. So that was weird. But anyway, I guess the glow in the dark books don't really glow in the dark. I don't know. Um, oh, it was my birthday. It was past Friday. Old man here, statue hunter, old man, old man, statue hunter. Um, and my good friend Matt, I mean, one of my best friends, Matt, he uh, make mine marvels his channel. Check it out. He picked me up this for my birthday, which is really cool. I didn't have this one, I wasn't able to pick it up. And it's the uh, first. Uh, Hulk uh, getting taken over by the Venom symbiote. Um, so pretty cool cover. It's a Young Guns variant. And uh, it's a good spec book. You never know if that ever happens in a movie. It's going to be great. And on the topic of, I was able to pick up uh, the Immortal Hulk number one. I actually picked up two of this. Because I do plan on keeping one raw and getting one graded. Um, just a awesome key one cover. Just a really cool cover. Really pleased with how this came out. Loving it. 
I think it's gonna really go somewhere. I think that book's gonna skyrocket. And spec on the G.I. Joe movie. Um, they did have the number one issue of G.I. Joe, uh, but it was on consignment. It was way overpriced. It was a hundred bucks. It's like a seven hundred dollar book, um, and it wasn't even in like absolute perfect condition to be warranted for that hundred dollar price tag. Um, but Anthony gave me this at a, a sweet deal. So this was like the same exact number one book, just enlarged. It's the Marvel Treasury Edition. So happy to pick that up. <clears throat> Wish it was the regular size one, but just uh, the price was a little too high on that consignment. So, moving on to our CGC unboxing. I think this is an independent signature series autograph comic of a hot new artist that I'm a big fan of. I'm loving his work. So we'll see how CGC bag this. I'm sure there's some kind of packaging slip in here. I'm gonna to wanna to get that out first if I can. So I will take that out off camera. And luckily, it looks like there's no damage. Really cool, I uh, witnessed him sign it at the Boston Comic Con this year. And then they walked over to CGC and uh, witnessed it. And luckily, it got a 9.8. Super happy about that. I have the foil version. This is the regular version. Um, autographed. Very happy um, to have this. So... Dark Red number one, signed by Shannon Mayer on August 17th, 2019. That's Tim Sealy story, Corin Howell art, and Shannon Mayer cover, 9.8 white pages. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's the Comic Mint edition of Dark Red number one. And it's the regular cover A. It's not the super bloody variant or anything, but we do see. Shannon's autograph right there. So super happy to have this autographed. I think I do have a regular um, universal grade label of the same book autograph, um, not autographed, of course, but this is the autograph one. So really cool that it got a 9.8. That's awesome. Very happy to have it with Shannon's signature on it. Very good artist. His work is beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that artwork. It's just beautiful. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated the video. And if you did, please, of course, give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please join us for the ride. Always putting up new content. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll talk to you soon.